Are you looking for the best gaming monitor? In this video we're going to be checking out another best gaming monitor which is the Lenovo G34W10. We will compare it against similar and newer gaming displays in terms of image quality, performance, design, and value for the price. If you want more information and updated pricing on the product mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay, so let's get to the video. Let's talk about image quality. To start with, the monitor features the UWQHD resolution with 3440 by 1440 pixels. When displayed on its 34-inch viewable screen, it results in a pixel density of roughly 110 ppi, pixels per inch. For most people, this is the pixel density sweet spot. You get plenty of screen space with crisp details and text, and you don't have to use any scaling. The ultra-wide format further improves upon this by providing you with extra horizontal screen space for multitasking and by extending your field of view in compatible games. 21 by 9 movies, 2.35, 12.40, 1. Also look exceptional as they are displayed without the blacks bars at the top and bottom of the screen like they'd be on a 16 by 9 display. Of course, this also means that 16 by 9 content will have black bars at the sides of the screen on the Lenovo G34W10 ultrawide monitor. Alternatively, you can stretch out or zoom the content to fill the screen. Luckily, most games support the 21 by 9 aspect ratio. Also, keep in mind that 3440 by 1440 is considerably more demanding than 1920 by 1080, though still not nearly as taxing as 4K UHD, so you will need a decent graphics card to maintain playable frame rates in the latest AAA titles. Moving on, thanks to its VA panel, the Lenovo G34W10 offers a high 3000 by 1 static contrast ratio for deep and inky blacks. Plus, there's no IPS glow, which makes for an immersive and distraction-free viewing experience in dark rooms. The peak brightness amounts to 350 nits, so the screen can get more than bright enough under normal lighting conditions and you'll most likely prefer to have the brightness setting down from the maximum. Now, while the other 34-inch 3440 by 1440 VA ultrawide monitors using the same panel boast a wide color gamut, the Lenovo G34W10 covers 72% of the NTSC color space. For the best image quality, we recommend setting the preset mode under image color setting to sRGB as it has the most accurate white point and gamma curvature. However, since each monitor unit is at least slightly different, your mileage may vary. Let's move on to the performance. The Lenovo G34W10 input lag amounts to only approximately 4 milliseconds, meaning that you won't be able to feel or notice any delays between you and the reaction on the screen. The pixel response time speed, on the other hand, is not as flawless. As expected from a VA panel monitor at this price range, transitions from very dark to very bright pixels are slow, thus causing noticeable trailing, ghosting behind fast-moving objects. The ghosting is mostly visible in dark scenes of fast-paced games, but it's tolerable and even negligible for casual gaming. However, gamers sensitive to ghosting might find it too bothersome. There are three response time overdrive modes, off, normal, and extreme. The default mode is off, which we recommend dialing up to normal for less ghosting. Extreme pushes the pixels to change even faster, but can cause overshoot in some scenarios, so you might want to check out both modes and change them depending on the game, your preference. The Lenovo G34W10 monitor supports AMD FreeSync for variable refresh rate, VRR, within the 48 to 144 Hz range and LFC, low frame rate compensation, below that. VRR prevents screen tearing and stuttering by dynamically changing the monitor's refresh rate to match the GPU's frame. While the monitor is not officially certified as G-Sync compatible by NVIDIA, you can use VRR with compatible GeForce graphics cards, GTX 10 series or newer, over DisplayPort 2, you'll just have to manually enable it in NVIDIA control panel. Alas, as it's the case with most VA panel monitors, VRR brightness flickering is present, though not necessarily on all units. So, in video games where your FPS is fluctuating a lot or frequently around the LFC threshold, VRR can cause brightness flickering. Since screen tearing is a lot less noticeable at 144Hz than it is at 60Hz, a lot of gamers won't mind this as they'll keep FreeSync disabled, it's just something to keep in mind. Let's get into the features, the Lenovo G34W10 also supports motion blur reduction, MBR. When you disable FreeSync, you can enable, MPRT, in the OSD, on-screen display, menu of the monitor. MBR uses backlight strobing to reduce perceived motion blur at a cost of picture brightness. It also introduces flickering, which is invisible to the human eye but can cause discomfort, eye strain, headaches, after prolonged use to those sensitive to screen flicker. The backlight of the monitor is otherwise flicker-free. Other useful features include dark boost, 
improves visibility in darker scenes, saturation, low blue light, a refresh rate tracker, and various picture presets, such as FPS, RTS, racing, etc. For navigation through the OSD menu, there's a five-way directional joystick at the right side of the monitor. It's time to talk about design and connectivity. The stand of the monitor is sturdy and offers tilt by minus 5 degrees, 22 degrees, up to 130 mm height adjustment and 100 by 100 mm visa mount compatibility. Further, the screen has a matte anti-glare coating that eliminates reflections without making the image too grainy, while connectivity options include DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI 2.0, and a headphone jack. Note that HDMI 2.0 is limited to 100 Hz at 3440 by 1440. Make sure that DP Select is set to DP 1.4 in the OSD menu for maximum bandwidth. Our opinion, the Lenovo G34W10 offers a very immersive gaming experience for the money thanks to its high ultrawide resolution and high contrast ratio. Its lack of a wide color gamut allows it to be cheaper than the alternatives, which might appeal to some users on limited budgets. Thanks for watching the video. If you find this video helpful please help out the channel by giving this video a like or subscribe the channel and tell us which product caught your eye in the comments below.